With Commerce Hub now available across Australia, we are keen to start showing you exactly how to use it. One of the first things you'll want to do is set up your payment links. And today I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. Hey guys, I'm Brie and welcome to another HubSpot How To. Today we are talking about setting up and managing your payment links. After you have set up the payments tool or connected your Stripe account for payment processing, you can start collecting payments in HubSpot using invoices, payment links and quotes. But for today, we'll just focus on payment links. If you would prefer to learn more about this offline, there is a PDF for you in the description below. Excited? Let's get into it. Okay, so when we're talking about payment links, we're talking about links that you can share with your customers so they can purchase straight away. So you're not using quotes or invoices or anything like that. This is just a super quick purchase. So I like to think of things like donations or tickets, things along those lines. Um, some other things I've been thinking about is also maybe eBooks or things like that where people are purchasing it, but it's a quick payment and there's no need for an invoice or a quote. In order to get to payment links, what we're going to do is go to commerce and then we're going to go to payment links. Pretty straightforward. All right, you can see we've got a couple in here at the moment. This is the view you're going to see. In order to create a payment link, we're going to click create a payment link and then click just use a blank. Once we're in the payment links, what we're going to do is add a quick name. So for this one, we might just say event ticket as an example. And what you're going to need to do from here is either create a custom line item or you can select from your product library. I would probably recommend setting up your product library first and then importing it from there. If I go here, I've got a couple of example products. However, I will show you how to create a custom line item in this video. So for this one, it might be event ticket might be ten dollars to our events and it's just a one-time thing you can do um i believe they're bringing out additional frequencies later on where you can do it monthly um, but for now it's just a one time for the payment link uh, you can do the general quantity you can allow customers to edit the quantity so you would just need to select that uh, you can make it optional and you can also allow customers to set their own price. And the reason HubSpot has included this is for things like where you say, you know, buy me a coffee or donate. This will allow your customers to either give you a dollar, $10, whatever it is to help support your business. So we're going to turn a cup, one of those on and we can say max quantity of 20 and we'll click save. So you can now see that line item in here. You can also add a couple of things like a unit discount as well. Um, but for now, we're just going to leave it as is. Down here, you can start adding things like uh, discounts, uh, fees, and also uh, tax as well. So for this one, we're just going to add GST because we are in Australia. And that would be 10%. And then it will come up with the total right at the end there. And then all you need to do is click create. You can make this a one-time use uh, thing. So you could just click that and then they can only use the payment link once. Um, there's also a couple of other settings here where you can link the payment link to uh, new deals as well, or it will basically create a new deal if they have gone through this payment link. Um, at the checkout, you can also add a text box or some next steps, things like that. So we can say something like, thanks for your purchase. Uh, you can use discount codes as well. And then what we're going to do is go to create here. And we're going to have a quick look at what this looks like. So I'm going to copy that and I'm going to open it on my computer. And basically what HubSpot's going to do is take your theming from your, you know, brand settings from your account and put them in here. So it's asking for an email address and then just some payment information there and then they can just buy it straight away. The other thing is they can buy up to 20 tickets so they can do that as well if they want to. Going back to the payment links, let's say we want to edit a payment link. Let's say uh, the, the uh, price has changed or something along those lines as well. So all you need to do is go to actions and then edit. You can also clone things, you can preview them. Um, you can also copy the link again as well. But a really cool thing is you also have a 
uh, QR code as well. So you could place this on any uh, like print collateral if you needed to as well, and you would be able to take them straight to that. So for now, let's just pretend we're going to edit it. And basically you're in the same screen as we were before. So we could put $12, for example, up the price a little bit, you can go to settings here. And as you saw before, we were just collecting the email. So another thing you can do is add another contact property that you would like to collect when they're going through that checkout process. So for now, we're gonna do a phone number Go down like that, have a quick look at the preview. It's looking good. And then we can click save. And you have just created a payment link. The last thing I wanna show you with the payment links is you can actually embed them into your website. So if you want to do that, all you need to do is go to actions and then embed, and it's gonna give you the code. So just get, if you feel comfortable yourself or grab a developer and you can insert that into a page. Uh, so you have a payment link right on like an event page, for example, or something like that. And that's it. You now know how to set up and manage your payment links in HubSpot's new Commerce Hub. We have a bunch more Commerce Hub focused HubSpot how-tos coming up, so keep your eyes peeled. If you're after a PDF version of today's lesson, make sure you grab it in the description below. If you feel like you've learned something today, make sure you like this video, subscribe, and leave a comment if you have any questions. If you would like us to talk about anything specific, please get in touch and we will make sure we include it in our upcoming HubSpot how-tos. That is all from me, guys. Happy HubSpotting.